Hey guys, first of all, welcome to the channel. I'm James from Need Golf, and we're pretty new to YouTube, so we need lots of love from you. You need to hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. We're gonna be trying to bring you lots more long content now, particularly on YouTube. So give us a follow, hit the notification bell. We're gonna try and give you as much value as you can, and let's grow this channel together. Let's talk about coil, because in just in the backswing, and what we're meaning is how are we coiling or turning or pivoting our body, whatever word you want to use, in the backswing. Now, if you can get this right, if you can coil better, it's going to make the downswing so much easier. It's just going to help your game no end. So we want to make a good coil. Now, first of all, think about this. And we're just thinking backswing. Imagine I was going to, and watch where my spine is going to go. I wanted to turn my shoulders and my hips have moved over here. Now, all my body is going to want to do is react and go the other way. Let's say I went the other way. What, what if I was to coil and go over here? Well, then I'm probably more than likely going to throw that right shoulder over the top. So how we coil our body in the backswing determines a lot about how our body is then going to drive through the ball. If it reminds me of rocking a ship, if I rock my spine this way, I'm going to rock the other way. So we just want to make a good coil. Now think about this in two parts. Think about the hips, think about the shoulders and how our spine is going to be a good relation to that. So hips, everything is a circle. So my hips have got to turn in a circle. This right hip isn't going to push to the right. It's not going to push straight back. It's got to pivot around the base of my spine. So imagine the middle spot in the middle of my hips or this stick between my legs. This right hip has to pivot in a circle, which means it's going to feel like it's probably going towards the target a little bit. But either way, if we can get this right hip pivoting a little bit better, that gives me an opportunity to be able to turn my shoulders correctly. Let's imagine my right hip doesn't, my, or my hips don't pivot correctly. This area gets a little bit stuck. All of a sudden, sudden my shoulders are going to want to go steep. So my right hip and our legs need to pivot correctly in the backswing around that center point because now that gives me an opportunity to coil my shoulders around my spine. So I'm not gonna coil my shoulders, shift my spine over here. I'm not gonna coil my shoulders and shift it this way. I wanna pivot around that center. Remember, the golf ball is still on the ground. So if my spine and my head are moving sideways laterally too much, or too much up and down, golf is difficult. But if we can make a good coil, we're gonna be right there. So right hip's gonna pivot around, and that gives me an opportunity for my shoulders to turn perfectly square around my spine. Now I'm in a really good loaded position. I've, come, I've made a good hip turn, I've made a good shoulder turn, my weight is very central, and I'm ready now to start moving through that ball. Let's have a look from this angle. So now, same again. If this doesn't, if this gets locked, if I don't turn my hips correctly, my shoulders want to go steep. If this hip is allowed to pivot, all of a sudden my shoulders can turn perfectly squarely around my spine, which puts us in a wonderful top of backswing position. So we want to get the coil right. Our two reference points are the right hip and the shoulders. Now. Everybody's going to feel this differently. For example, if we have people in the academy who are used to being lock this right hip and shoulders too steep, well, they're going to feel their right shoulder, uh, their right hip and left shoulder are going to feel like they're moving differently to somebody who was maybe the other way, somebody whose shoulders went really flat. Well, their shoulders are going to feel a little steeper. So if I'm the first guy, if I'm the first guy where my right hip gets stuck and my left shoulder wants to go too steep, well, then your feeling is going to be, well, this hip, right hip needs to get more around, which is going to allow the left shoulder to get more around. All of a sudden, we've lined up really good into a good coil. If I'm the other way, if my shoulder, left shoulder is coming too flat around me, then the feeling is going to be different. It's going to be more, those shoulders are going to feel like they're turning a little bit steeper. But it's all in an effort to, be allowed, to allow ourselves to pivot correctly. But our two reference points are the right hip and the left shoulder. Right hip's going to pivot around and create some space so my shoulders can pivot perfectly square around my spine. If you can do that, the body will want to unwind better through the ball. Of course, it's not going to fix it completely, but it would certainly help. So, have a look at your own pivot. You want to know where you are in relation to those two elements, the hips and the shoulders. Uh, and if you can get a feeling for pivoting better, it's going to allow a lot of other good stuff to happen in your golf swing. Now, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. Thanks very much, we appreciate it.